Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've had so many people ask me about my digital gauge I use in my videos. Today I'm gonna show you how I made it, how I made that gauge, okay? I got all the parts I need. I have the actual gauge. I'll put a link for you guys. This is the uh, 30 amp twist lock plug, or you can go with a regular 20 amp plug, 120 volt plug. They're both 120 volt. This is 30, 20 amp, this is 30 amp. We'll go over that. I got the cable I'm using. This is a 10 gauge. You know, uh, one ground, neutral, and your life. That's the one we're gonna be using. And I have the boxes that I'm gonna use to house the, the gauge. Got everything. Let's get the video started. It's gonna be a shot, just showing you how I make the gauge. Real quick video. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to like this video. I'm doing this one because I got a lot of people asking me how I made the gauge. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope you make one. Okay guys, these are your two choices for the gauge. All right. This is the first one. This is what's gonna measure your um, voltage, your amps and everything. Okay. This is gonna go around the uh, live wire and this is the other one that's the one I'm using it's a little wider screen you can tell I like this one better because it gives a uh, way more information and a bigger screen so it's your choice all right so this this connects to the one and two and your neutral and your live connects in three and four okay first thing we're going to do is cut the box Okay, so I cut it the best I can, staying inside the line, then you just put it inside. Try to press it down straight. There you go. So once it fits like this, get you your base. Next thing, you're gonna bore two holes. I like putting it on either side. Okay. You can put these holes anywhere you want. I'm just going to put it dead center. This is the three quarter inch hole saw, flat hole saw. So, drill your hole. Now you get your wire. Like I said, I'm using 10 gauge wire. You just tuck one side in here. I'm not gonna make this one too long. I'm just gonna cut it right here, just enough to get to my uh, extension cord because this one's gonna be used on the extension cord on the inside. Cut your cable, measure the same length. Cut it again. Okay. Go ahead and strip up the uh, the ends, just like this one, right here. This is where you're gonna put your um, your plug, whichever one you decided you want to use. 
like I said, I'm going to do the uh, 30 amp because I already have a 20 amp. Once you strip the other side, tuck it in like this. Okay, so you'll have one coming in on either end, right? Once you got both wires coming in from either end, your ground, you can just go ahead and get your ground situated because you're not going to be needing the ground. It just has to loop through, okay? But you need the neutral because you, the power for the, the gauge. You're going to need this wire, just, just any small wire. That's going to power the meter, okay? Let's see, one, two, three, four. That's the sensor. And three and four, there's an N right here. Oops, sorry. N, L. So we're going to put the white one. That's going to represent our neutral. Bend this like this. white's gonna be my neutral and you just close them up not too tight because you can damage this just hand tight okay okay now you just pop it back in Feel it click. Cut these long enough so you can get get power. So remember, I said the whites for the neutral, so you put it back on the white. I'll just tuck it right here. Okay, tie it on the top and then. Tuck it in there. And... All right. Now, when it comes to the black wire, that's your power wire, okay? So you're going to slide this over. I don't know if you can see this. There's a little arrow pointing. That's, that's the way your power is going, right? To the load. So you got to figure out which one you want to use for your load. I'm going to put my load on this side. So this arrow is going to be pointing to this wire, okay? So it's going to go right here pointing to this wire. So you might want to mark which side your plug is going to go on. So what I mean by that is your plugs okay this side this goes to the generator this side goes to the load so the arrow has to be pointing on this side all right so this side it needs to be marked i'm just going to put a, a mark on this This will be my load side, not my generator side. So the arrow should be pointing to this. Now that other wire, it has to get power for that meter. So you're going to put it right here. This is where it gets its power from. So you get your two black wire together. Go ahead and tap them. Okay guys, quick quick uh, overview. So on the back of your uh, digital monitor, one, two, three, four. The two first ones, one and two, that's gonna be for your sensor. 
the three and four that's going to be neutral and live okay the live will be the black one you're going to run your ground right through on the neutral you're going to connect the neutral side and connect it together on the live you're going to get the black wire connected to what to the other black wire there's an arrow on the sensor it's going to be pointing towards your load side okay not your generator side so you see i put it on this side if you connect it wrong it's not going to read right so you have to connect it on this side once you get all that buttoned up you can just tuck everything out of the way make sure everything's connected and just go ahead and close her up I'm not going to put the gasket because this is not going to be uh, something that's going to be in the rain. Once you get it closed up, you could mount this and screw it down if you want. Okay, go ahead and connect your, uh, strip the ends again. Okay guys, now remember this side is the side that's going to go to overload. So I'm going to put this first. Go ahead and pull this off. Put this all together, slide it through. Now, the green side, green one, get your ground first. Okay. Before you lock the back, kind of make sure it's in there. This holds the cable from being pulled out. There you go. Nice. Get your other side. Pull this apart. Get everything together. And tuck it in. This is a really good one because it has a little rubber sleeve to keep moisture out and any kind of spiders and you can get it in there. It's real nice and tight. That's why I like this round wire. 10 gauge. Okay, I always do my ground first. This goes in the white. Then your live wire. All right, guys, you got everything lined up. Go ahead and get this back on. Get it straight. Right there. Okay guys, that's it. All we have to do now is find a spot to test it. Make sure we have everything in the right, facing the right way, okay? Let's go ahead and uh, take it outside. We can hook it up to a generator. Let's okay guys, we we're gonna go ahead and test our gauge we just made using uh, a heater as a load. Okay, so first thing first, go ahead and fire up the generator to test it. This is the uh, Honda Companion, so it has the 30 amp, the 30 amp plug. Get the key right, plug it in. Yep, there you go. Everything powered up. Everything zeroed. 60 hertz, perfect power. Let's go ahead and plug the load in. Okay, on this side, since we have the uh, 30 amp, we're gonna be using an adapter. I'm gonna use this adapter to get my twist lock to my uh, 30 amp RV. Okay, so we plugged in the heater, and now you can see it's pulling 1.9 watt, which is very accurate. 
because that's the draw from here. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on the heater to test our uh, digital watt meter. There you go. Let's put it on high. One point five. 13.1 amps and at the same time you're counting how many kilowatts you've used so you uh, you got your volts watts amps power factor and your kilowatt and your hertz everything you need right back to zero Plugged it. Everything working perfect. Okay, guys, there you have it. Now you can build your own watt meter, digital watt meter. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you in uh, making your digital gauge. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a subscribe and a, oh, a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye.